A few weeks ago, we talked about the streaming wars, how Netflix, Disney, Paramount, Amazon, Apple, HBO, and others are all competing for streaming customers. But there's another kind of streaming war going on. It's between Twitch and Kick. If you don't know those names, that's okay. You'll learn today. Hi there, it's Jeff, and this is Plain English, where we help you upgrade your English with current events and trending topics. JR is the producer, and he has uploaded today's full lesson to plainenglish.com slash 592. That's because this is lesson 592. JR is smart that way. So if you want the transcript, just look at the episode number, in this case, 592, and use the episode number to find the transcript. Today is at plainenglish.com slash 592, and the transcript is free. Today's story is about Twitch, the live stream platform for video gamers and their fans. On Twitch, you can play a game, browse the web, or just live your life and let others watch and comment in a box. It's not for me, but it is for many millions of people. And a new kind of streaming war is heating up with a Twitch competitor called Kick. I'll also show you how to use the English phrasal verb roll back, and we have a quote of the week. Let's get started. Twitch is a live streaming platform best known for video gaming. It's owned by Amazon. On Twitch, users can sign up and immediately broadcast themselves playing online games. It's like YouTube, only it's live and the focus is on video gaming. Twitch streamers can play games in their browsers or on popular video game consoles like Xbox and PlayStation. Some of the most popular games on the platform are League of Legends, Grand Theft Auto, Minecraft, and Fortnite. Classic games are on the channel too. You can watch someone play Tetris or even chess. The audience, this won't surprise you, the audience skews male by 70% to 30%. On a typical channel, the streamer plays the game and interacts with viewers. Viewers can see the gamer's screen they can see the game play, but the streamer is also usually on camera, often talking and reacting during the game. So the show is not just the gameplay, but you're watching the player too. There's a chat window, just like on other social media live streams, the chat allows viewers to interact with each other and with the streamer during the action. Viewers can also send the streamer gifts using Twitch's own currency. Some streamers offer monthly subscriptions ranging from $5 to $25 per month. Subscribers might get premium content, no ads, and digital bonuses like special access or a custom set of emojis. While Twitch is 
best known for video game streaming, that's not all they have. Streamers can simply broadcast their lives or host their own version of a reality show or a talk show. Others broadcast themselves browsing the web, really, and watching web videos and commenting on it all to their viewers. A lot of Twitch streamers do a mixture of things over live streams that extend many, many hours. They play video games, they chat with fans, they let viewers peek into their lives. The streamers are often online for many hours a day. One, XQC, a 25-year-old, streams between 8 and 14 hours a day. His streams are a grab bag of online life. Now he's browsing online videos of someone doing a leg press. Next, he's scrolling through his YouTube viewer stats. Now back to videos as he watches and comments on news footage from the Paris protests. Then he's playing a video game in which he kills a rabbit. Later, he played an online quiz show and speculated out loud about the answers. He talked about dyeing his hair. He admitted he knew that his roots were showing. He showed off prop guns in his room. He complained that his audio was in mono and not stereo, and so on. That chat window during the entire broadcast was an unending stream of nonsense. Now, if this sounds frivolous, keep listening. Twitch streamers can make good money, some of them. The popular ones make money from advertising that plays during their streams. They also collect a portion of the subscription payments from fans. Off the platform, they have endorsement deals and affiliate marketing to supplement their income. Twitch is not immune to the general problems of platforms that host user-generated content. Over the years, they've had to crack down. They've banned nudity, pornography, offensive content, pirated content, and streams of online gambling. Twitch has extensive, and I mean very detailed, extensive documentation explaining exactly what body parts are allowed to be shown. And you know this is only necessary because people constantly push the boundaries. But Twitch can't crack down too hard because it also needs to keep its content creators happy. Streamers on Twitch have complained about their pay. Most streamers get to keep only 50% of the payments from their subscribers, which is much less than what other app stores allow their creators to keep. Twitch recently implemented rules that would further limit streamers' ability to make an income. 
It generated such a backlash that the company had to roll back some of the changes. Still, many popular streamers have left Twitch, saying the company is no longer responsive to its community of creators. YouTube and Facebook are imperfect alternatives. But for a long time, there was no live streaming, gaming-focused alternative to Twitch, so creators were stuck. But now, there's something called Kick. Kick is a new platform for streamers, and it offers two competitive advantages. First, anything goes. The rules are much more relaxed. Kick is not terribly concerned about offensive or sexually explicit content. Streamers kicked off Twitch for violating community standards, they are welcome on Kick. You can also live stream yourself gambling on Kick. That was banned on Twitch. Kick is backed by the owners of online gambling sites for what that's worth. The other advantage Kick offers it allows content creators to keep 95% of their subscription income. The platform is smaller, but it lets creators keep more of what they generate. But how to attract streamers and viewers? Kick has splashed out on pricey contracts with popular streamers. Remember XQC? His real name is Felix Langell. Earlier, I said he was 25. He's 27 years old. Kick offered him a two-year contract worth between 70 and $100 million, and it's not even an exclusive contract. For comparison, this is about the same size as LeBron James's most recent contract with the Los Angeles Lakers basketball team. If you paid me 70 to $100 million to watch XQC's stream every day, I don't know if I could. I don't know if I could do it. It would be hard. Hey, quick note. We're going to change things up just a teeny tiny little bit. I'm going to give you the quote and the song of the week after the main story instead of at the very end. And the reason I'm doing this is because of the website. Those of you who use plainenglish.com for the transcripts, you know that we split the transcript into two parts, the story and the expression. And many, many of you browse the site for the expressions only, and it's just a little strange when you look to learn an expression and thing. So if it's okay with you, we're going to do the quote of the week on Mondays and the song of the week on Thursdays, right after the main story. So that means we are ready to take a break and take a look at an English quote for today. There's a phrase in English, when opportunity knocks. That's like 
when a good opportunity comes your way, it knocks on your door. So here's the quote. Fortune knocks but once, but misfortune has much more patience. That's from Lawrence J. Peter. Misfortune, meaning bad luck, will present itself over and over, while good luck, good fortune, might only come once. So take advantage of it when it comes. Fortune knocks but once, but misfortune has much more patience. That's from Lawrence J. Peter, and that is today's quote of the week. Next up, the expression, roll back. Twitch had to roll back some of its new rule changes. What does that mean, roll back? Roll back means to reverse or undo a project. In lesson 167, you learned that roll out means to introduce something like a new product. Well, roll back means to reverse something that you have rolled out, that you have introduced. Twitch rolled out new policies for streamers. Under the new policies, streamers would get to keep less of what they earn on the platform. And there were restrictions on what independent sponsorship content could show in the middle of their streams. Streamers were furious. Twitch already keeps a large. I'm somewhat in the industry. I'm telling you, it's large. They keep a large percentage of the earnings of the creators. 50% of subscription payments go to Twitch, 50% to the creator. And now they were making it harder for streamers to make money from outside sources. Now, after a lot of streamers left the platform, and after many others complained, Twitch agreed to roll back some of the new rules. That means they reversed the new rules. The rules are no longer in effect. Twitch introduced them, they realized their mistake, then they rolled them back. They canceled the new rules. Roll back is often used with rules, laws, or policies. A policy could come from a business, a person, or a government. Now, this happens in national politics if two political parties alternate in power. The party in power wants to roll back policies that the previous president or previous government implemented. In the U.S., the president can introduce some new policies using executive orders. If one president makes an executive order, the next president can roll it back. When Donald Trump took office, he rolled back policies put in place by his predecessor, Barack Obama. When Joe Biden took office, he rolled back some policies put in place by Trump. It can happen in local politics, too. In the U.S., 
most education policy is set by local towns and cities. I read an article about a city school board that made a policy to reduce the summer vacation. Summer vacation often starts in mid-June and lasts for two or two and a half months. During that time, children forget a lot of what they learned the year before. So the city decided to reduce summer vacation to six weeks. But parents and teachers complained, so they rolled the policy back. They canceled it. Twitter. Things change by the day. When this lesson comes out, I have no idea what the latest news is going to be. But today, as of when I wrote this lesson, Twitter has limited the number of tweets a person can see in a day. I think it's 600. There's pressure on Twitter to roll that back, to cancel the policy, to make it like it was before. I'm not sure if they've done that, if they are going to do that, but there was certainly pressure on them to roll it back. And that brings us to the end of plain English for today. You know, I pressed the wrong button because I thought the quote of the week was coming. I should have pressed that button to start different music. Anyway, this is the end of plain English for today, July 24th, 2023. Congratulations on making it to the end of another plain English lesson. Are you on Twitch? Are you a Twitch live streamer? Do you like to watch live streams on Twitch? Do you now watch them on Kick? I'd love to know. Our Facebook group is the place to answer that question. If you're not a part of it, join it at plainenglish.com slash Facebook and tell us your experience watching or streaming on Twitch. Coming up on Thursday, say the name Pat Sajak and most everyone in the United States will know who that is. You might not know who that is, but you will on Thursday. See you then. <laughs>